Witcher a word, if you will. Of course. You're supposed to be at my disposal now, so... Let's get talking. You'll we'll meet your match. Blah, blah, blah. You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. <laughs> Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. Uh, I think he's only this friendly because I'm not Sheila. <laughs> uh, okay, sure, why not? That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. Ah, uh, whatever. It's better to have more friends than enemies. Whatever. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. <laughs> oh, of course. What would you like to know? Not all of them were aggressive. You mean the ones that we saw on the battlefield and they were just fighting? Maybe that was like a simulation. Not simulation, but um, a flashback of the Kedweni versus Edernian army. Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these Draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears in a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Blood curse. Fourth level, okay. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. I mean, in fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells, and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Loantil. Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Okay, fine, I'll read it. Quite a tome. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world, <laughs> and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. Okay. It's gonna be a tough task for us to lift it for sure. What? Why is Henzel still alive? Oh yeah, what's with the square coins? We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. 
Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation, and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Fine. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Cleversig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Henselt may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. Burned to death. We know this. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. Earlier, the curse activated again because... Yeah, Henselt smashed that priest's head against that rock. And the blood. It must have been the blood, so... You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. <laughs> I'll need a number of protective runes to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunkfoil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots. They're silver vases of Naziah. Last of all, <laughs> give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? How do you know? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Henselt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. Just leave my past alone. Guess we're not going to be friends if you're going to talk to me like that. Find the Dunbanner Standard Vandergriff Sword. Oh, the artifacts. Search the site of Sabrina Glesevig's execution. Okay. Ask around the Kedwini camp about the symbol of courage. Alright. Lots of things going- Talk to the soldiers about the conspiracy against Henselt. Conspiracy against Henselt? That doesn't sound good. Uh oh. Alright, alright. Hold up. Sabrina... Oh, Myron. Stiff as a halberd, the apothecary Myron ran the field hospital and sold out chemical ingredients on the side. Isidore K. Key. Whether it was building fortifications or constructing clever traps, 
Dwarven technical skills have no equals, and Isidore K. Is it K or K? Use them well. The mercenary made money on the side, running a small stall in the royal camp. I'm really looking for Sabrina here. I thought we got a general entry for her. Where is she? Not here. Oh, right here at the bottom. The sorceress Sabrina Glesevig was from Ard Karai, the capital of Kedwin, and had been King Henzel's advisor. The reader, however, should not be deceived by that term. This true daughter of the Kedweni wilderness was famous for her determination and temperament. There was no exaggeration to the rumors that on many occasions she would interrupt the king, thumping her fist on the table, yelling that he should shut up and listen, and the king would indeed shut up and listen. Sabrina Glesevig's predatory nature was paired with an equally predatory beauty, which she emphasized through appropriately chosen attire. Add to that the power she commanded as a sorceress, and it should become clear to what she owed her strong position, not only in Kedwin, but also beyond its borders. This position could not protect her from the king's wrath, however, and when she failed Henselt one time too many, the sorceress ended up at the stake where her life ended. Sabrina cast a curse on the monarch and the battlefield with her dying breath. Many years later, we were to feel the effects of this malediction. Okay. Maybe we'll just have a look around the camp again. We gotta talk to people anyway. So maybe some of these people have information. Count Tybalt. A knight of the Flaming Rose. Oh! Here. Geralt of Rivia. Now I recognize you, terrorist. Oh. Killer of Siegfried of Danel. Murderer of Jacques de Aldersberg. I've long waited for this chance. Defend yourself! When did I kill Siegfried? You guys are just gonna allow this? We'll have to sit it out like hens on their um. eggs. Until this mist won't just disappear. Okay, apparently no one else cares. This guy wants to kill me. I was so happy to see someone from the previous thing too, but... Oh, but yeah, of course they would be mad. Even if I didn't kill Siegfried, which I didn't, I killed the Grandmaster, which is pretty unforgivable. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Do you really want to fight to the death? I'm not that interested in killing you. I mean, if you insist, I'm not gonna fight against it, but it's just so stupid because we're not even... We're in someone else's camp right now. Why are you getting at me? Last chance. But why? Why? Oh well. I guess he valued honor over his own life. It's kind of random. Are you guys okay with me? Oh, sorry, I'm kind of holding a sword. Here we go. Hello? Sorry about that. That was a little bit unsightly. All good? I've had about enough. Me too. Me too. Never say no to free stuff. Pick it all up. All of it. <laughs> this is actually a lot. The whole camp's gone bizarre. Did I talk to you earlier? Probably. In the air, scavenging around the tents like idiots. Adam Pangrat. Where are these kinds from? Need some help, Monster Slayer. I want to talk, dog of war. I've heard much about you, Witcher. Greetings. Greetings, Captain. Adam Pangrat, someone important. Oh. He's famous? I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. Is he one of the people with the Black Jaguar shield on their back? I wouldn't mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily, we showed up at the right time. 
We've stood the assault and came out victorious. We earned every last copper we were paid. 50,000 Nilfgaardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander-in-chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Hey, this guy's not arrogant. That's good. Must be fatiguing, fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like my craft, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Doing something you like can't be a bad thing. Unless if you're killing people? I knew one of your kind once. A woman by the name of Rayla. Killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. Let her emotions take control. This profession requires cold calculation. We've met Rayla in The Witcher 1. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's Blue Banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the times. I'm basically a mercenary too, so I don't know why you're saying that, Geralt. Does Hansel pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Won't people start killing each other towards the end? Is Henselt paying you to wait? Curiosity itching you, Witcher. Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Death Mole's given us silver-plated weapons and protective amulets. On your advice, as I heard it, we're to observe the mist and, if need be, drive off the wraiths. Word travels fast. Since you're already watching it, pay attention to the size of the cloud. I need to know if it's expanding. Well... How fast? It's almost imperceptible, but it's constant. A foot, perhaps two a day. What does that mean? It means I have to hurry. How many mercenaries you got watching the fog? I've got them spread out in small groups around campfires. And how many we number? Well, that's my concern alone. Gotta keep some secrets for himself. Okay. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Oh! Bart Bargy. I remember him. Strong for a peasant. For a peasant. They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an elf guardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong, but lacked stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in my profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangret for the championship, you've gotta beat the best contenders. I thought I already did. You've defeated them all. Woo! So we can wrestle. Whenever you're ready. And I've only been here for like two hours. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, neither of us should wrestle for free. Okay. All in. I'm ready. All in. Hey, we don't even have an audience? Seriously? This is like the biggest fight in the entire camp. No one's watching. Boom. Lucky that Nilfgaardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangret would be a heap of white bones right now. Lucky for you we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. 
Apparently, grips like a vice. The word has any cheats. How? <laughs> Performance enhancing potions. The undetectable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. Well, I'm a witcher, so I might still have a hand up on this. It won't just disappear. They say only a spell will lift it. Hmm. Awesome. We've only been here for like two hours, and we already finished the arm wrestling quest. If we look around, is there anything else easy that we can do right now? We can do little sisters. Yeah. Because we already know where the cliff is, but we would have to change the time. Zivik, we can find him about dice poker. Rotfiend, not sure where Rotfiends are, but we gotta find some books about it first. Search the site of the execution. Find Dunbanner's standard, Vandergrid's sword, and a piece of Seltkirk's armor. Lastly, acquire Henselt's medallion. This is for the main quest. If nothing else, let's just try to find Zivik. Yeah, and then maybe we can go to the Little Sisters one. The whole camp's gone berserk looking Wife's for the alone, corn. The man and I'm stuck here. Grown lads with their arses oh. here. Scavenging round the tents. Anyone like want to talk to me? I smell a tamari. What's your name again? Vlastimil of Vengerberg. Same origins as Yennefer. You'll meet your match. That's Death Mold again. We don't need to come back here. I don't know where Sheila is anymore. Maybe she went back into her own camp. What's over here anyway? Just a seat for the... Oh, it's probably for the king to look at the... Whatever battle's happening down there. The whole camp's gone Get berserk looking, looking for the coin. Grown lads with their arses in the air. Scavenging around the tents like idiots. Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? I smell a rat. We should be on the lookout for those square coins too, huh? We haven't seen any. Hear ye! Hear ye! Audrey, Let it be known far and ye. wide that the woman known as Saskia, a Audrey, rebel and troublemaker, is ye. not of the human kind. She is an homunculus, conceived Ooh. by the sorceresses Philippa Eilhart and Sabrina Glevisig. From Mandrake, Seaman and Brimstone in the belly of a mare. As such, she is an unnatural being, the enemy Audrey, of men and gods. I'm sorry, it's very clear that someone is dying for Audrey, my attention. Where are you? What do you want? <laughs> no. I heard you calling out for Audrin. What of it? Just curious. Half the camp's looking for him. <laughs> well, he's gone and got lost. But Audrin's a good man. He can drink six noggins of liquor, one after the other. Wouldn't mind buying him a pint. What does he look like? <laughs> Ordinary, like any soldier. Except he staggers a lot. What else am I so like you? In Servizia Veritas. Audrin, where are you? I still want to ask you about the other stuff. Oh, Jesus. Why is everybody looking for Audrin? Audrin! What the hell? What is it, Witcher? <laughs> I like to get my bearings once in a while. We all do. Will you answer some questions for me? If I know how to. And if I can. <laughs> We should ask about these things first, because the Ogren thing just cuts off. He's still bumbling around in the background here. What in the world? The sorceress named Sheila. She's just arrived. What for? I've no clue. Do you ever know with witches? I mean, they never do what they say they're doing. Could she become Henselt's sorceress? Our king's already got an advisor for magic, and Deathmold don't like competition. He likes sorceresses even less. Okay. What is it, Witcher? <laughs> Can I speak freely? If you want to be sly, best you step away. I'm looking for someone with a square coin. Why is that? I can only tell someone who has one. You got one? No. Then don't ask, for you'll learn nothing. This guy has one. What is it, Witcher? 
I like to get my bearings once in a while. We all do. Will you answer some questions for me? If I know how to. And if I can. And if you're not too drunk to. I heard not everyone likes Henselt. To be liked by everyone, you need not to have a mind of your own. And Henselt's got one. Put it this way. More and more people don't like how he thinks. We agreed to speak freely. I've learned of a plot. I promised I'd answer every question I know how and every question I can. That's a question I cannot answer. He's Audrey, actually talking really well for someone away. who's drunk. Audrey. Shut up! What is it, Witcher? Please! Please stop! Please! I like to get my real if I You from Kedwin? Like me father and grandfather before me? Know what they say about you in Edern? Folk always got something to say about their neighbors. Henselt wants to conquer Edern. What would you expect them to say? There are kingless in Edern now. They could use a good ruler. They've got someone to rule. You don't need to meddle. Don't be naive. The world's no sandbox. Oh, come to think of it, the stronger bairns reign in the sandbox as well. The moment the king dies, everything goes to hell. Same in Temeria, same in Edern. Now I'll ask you who Odrin is. What is it, Witcher? Who's this Odrin you're calling out for? A Kedwenny god of some sort? <laughs> Odrin a god? If you suggested the god of drinking, I might agree. He's a maid. We agreed to meet at the tavern, but he's gone and got lost. If you find him, tell him we're waiting. How will I know it's him? Oh, you'll know Odrin. Nobody quite like that, Con. For my sake, I think we need to find Odrin ASAP. I don't want to hear them yelling out until the end of time. Greetings. Please. Here, boy. Spare. You talk Odrin. to him like he's a dog. What do you want? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of people around here now. What are the Nilfgaardian forces doing here? I don't know. Their presence disgusts some, but I'm glad to see them here. Why is that? I'd rather they be with us than with Edern. I guess so. That's true. You only want to talk to me once a day? Maverick? Yeah, we've already... Oh, didn't we ask about this? Why did you go to the beach? During Henselt's last expedition, we stayed in a yeah, house. Yeah, we heard that. So you took part in the campaign. Took. Okay. How do we know where? Okay, if we look in the journal. Yes, this one in Servicia Veritas. Several soldiers, all drunk like lords, were searching for their lost drinking buddy. Geralt decided to help them, for he had hoped that the grateful soldiers will turn into a mine of information about the conspiracy against Henselt. Do you want to tell me where Audrin is, or do I actually have to find him on my own? There's an- what the hell? Why is there an inn here? That's so far away. How far outside these lands can we wander? Okay, I don't think Audrin is marked anywhere, which is terrible. But I guess that's that. Let's find Zivik then. We know that he's around here for the yeah, dice boy. poker. Holy god, he really needs to shut up. Here. So he should be out the way that we, we were earlier. Hello? Oh my god, there's another one. I'm done with this cursed place. Bloody comet, square coins, and that fucking fog. As long as they pay us, I'll sit it out. Oh, Dren! Ah! Oh! 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> and now I'm on fire. Great. It didn't let me walk out of it. I just kept getting attacked and attacked. I'm done with this I lost half my health from that. But I think we just got some pyromaniac ability from that, which is not a bad thing. No. As long as they pay us, I sit it out. Let's get out here. I would talk to that drunk guy, but he's he's yelling. It's really annoying. We gotta get out. Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. What are they doing there? It's a common malady. 
A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. <laughs> they may never return. Anything's possible. But I for one hope they just overdid it with the liquor and fell asleep in some bush. Maybe we'll find Aldrin there too. We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. Civic, I'm not done with you. What do you want, Witcher? I'd like to play dice. Wanna play right now? Yes, right this moment. Uh, not gonna go with the high bettings, because we never know how these rounds will go. On some days, you can even get four of a kind and still not win. Okay, I only have one pair here. Um... I just noticed what he has. Dude, we're pretty much done. But we'll try it. Fine. Whatever. Oh, great! Great. <laughs> okay, goodbye, money. Goodbye. You lost. I know. No worries. I'll win it back. Like right now. What do you want? Right now. I'd like wanna Okay. Please. What do we have here? We have two. Wait, two, three. No, we have a pair. Never mind. Okay. He has also a pair. No, he has two pairs. That's great. No, I want to highlight the ones I do want to re-roll, right? Mm -hmm. One? Why so unconfident? I got two pairs. Still lost. Oh, jeez. One! I won! With two pairs! Okay, go, let's go! Here's your reward. That was good rolling. You deserve it. Who else plays dice around here? Madam Carol ought to play you. Interesting match that would be. Good rolling? Like my rolling actually determines my luck, right? No, don't go yet, Zivik! Oh, I still wanted to talk to you. That's okay, we can well, look around here. here. Yesterday. Oh, what now? What are you looking for? Square coin, by any chance? I'm not another fucking stick. What's this camp? Peasants? There shouldn't be peasants traveling with us. I want to stock up on provisions. Seek and ye shall find, as the prophet Labiuda would say. He was a shepherd, had experience in seeking and finding. Do you know the good book? That's what we have praise. Any discount on account of that? <laughs> no. Book. Oh. The prophet Labiuda encourages the giving of discounts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall that verse. Oral tradition. Hmm. And if your neighbor offers you a basket of apples for a ram, say you shall take but half a basket, for ten more neighbors will come. What? And five of them will offer you two baskets of apples for the ram so many covet. An endless source of wisdom. Browse and choose. Did it work? I hope it did. Storage. Wonderful. Let's have a look at that. I think this guy sells books, so we can probably get the um, Rot Fiend book from him. Heavy stuff, heavy stuff, iron ore, timber. We can sell the sword. We should probably sell some of this stuff too. God, just look at how much stuff I have. Stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. I fought bro. You can have all of my weapons. Which makes my weight Oh, look at my weight now in the 200s. It's not good. If I'm looking at stuff sorted by weight, I should put in the leather too in my storage. Sell all these trousers, jack boots. Mhm. Mm well, it's looking a little better now. Oh, the trophies! Trophies are probably something that we can put in storage and not think about too much, because we're not gonna use all the trophies. We don't have space. Yeah, but at the same time, they don't weigh anything either. Timber? Was there timber? 
No, leather. Leather and drega jaw claw. I think we're okay for now. Probably sooner or later, we're gonna start having to look at the um, crafting armor stuff again. Keeping my weapons updated. Because, yeah, when we killed the Karen, we could make something, but we didn't make it yet, did we? What can we make? Karen trap, Karen skin armor. Skin armor. I wish we could compare the diagram with what I'm wearing right now. Dang it. Okay, I think I'm okay for now. Thank you. We should have our seeds. Oh, yes. Can I see your books? Do you have books? No, I thought you had books, but you only have junk? Junk? Really? Oh, that's... that's a shame. Well, thank you anyway. Thank you. Or it will turn out like the millions. Greetings. Welcome an opportunity when it comes. They say you run a traveling pawn shop. Heard you even have books. Books! <laughs> no song, no supper. Nobody mentioned you speak in proverbs. A willful man must have his way. Ah, you're doing this on a bet. How long do you have to go on like this? Lost time is never again fun. <laughs> what happens if you lose the bet? Crows do not pick crow's eyes. Good luck anyway. Fortune is easily found. But hard to keep. <laughs> I wish you persistence then. Can I see your goods? I'm mainly interested in those books. Better to ask the way than to go astray. Okay. Hairstyle. Hey, we should change it again. Let me buy the Rot Fiend book first. Gargoyles, gutters, splutters, maintenance and repair. Harpies. We've gotten a lot of harpy stuff, but we haven't seen a single harpy at all. Monstrum or a portrayal of witchers. How much is that? 50 bucks? Yeah. Uh, I wanna. Mm, hold up. Rot fiend. Rot fiend. Drowds. Should we buy that? We have that. Did I read it? Maybe not. Rot fiends. There we go. Hunter Valley. Realms of Nordlings. Temerian Royal Dynasty. Okay. Three years among the Andregas. No, we don't need that anymore, no. Okay, thank you very much. Oh no, they're back! The Bruxay! No, I hate them! No, why are they here too? Earth Elementals. Anything we want to buy in advance? Uh, we'll buy the one about the Witchers. Spheres. Nilfgaardian provinces. Where's the Witcher one? I lost it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go with this for now. There's a fair chance of Henselt and Shillard inviting us to their meeting. But we should at least object somehow. The spit at the sight of the black ones. Turn our heads away. Piss on their tents. <laughs> just need to watch that we don't make a mistake while drunk. Oh, I nearly forgot. Hairstyles. Better to ask the way than to go astray. <laughs> Aww. I think that's what we started with, right? Rivian Ponytail? And then we changed to something squirrel or whatever? Elven style? Let out. Dwarven braid. Raftsman's do. Full ponytail? Sintrum pendulum. Shaved temples and a ponytail. It's all ponytails. Most of it? Yeah, Geralt just likes his hair tied up, I guess. Makes sense, because fighting, you don't really want your hair all over the place. We will try... Let's try Rasmin's Do. Yeah. 30 bucks. Ooh. Are there trolls here? Ah, hey, so it's a little bit neater looking in the front. He doesn't That's have a lot of hair sticking that. out. Okay, cool. We will roll with this for the next little bit. Why not? Camp followers encampment. What about building bridges? And taking tolls under threat of force. Rins? They sit among the rocks. And who'd go there? As for tools, the headman tricked them and they're not collecting any. This is Lady OK. He said he won't forbid them from collecting tolls, but not where there's no river. He said they do better building a highway to the town. And are they building it? 
Not a chance. Still waiting for a permit from the capital. You're no Prince Charming. I'm just trying to save you from walking into the thing over and over again. Make love, not war. Ah, I fixed you. You're welcome. Hey, Dandelion! I see you finally decided to relax. Have I ever told you I think you lead a very unhealthy life? You've mentioned it. Evidently not enough for you to take it to heart. Anyway, the whores are quite decent here. Maybe some other time. You worry me. When you're stressed out, you don't really want to do that. <laughs> I want to know. Have you tried to, uh, approach Vess? I've thought about it. On the one hand, I've never rogered a soldier, but on the other, the clean clang of steel against steel and an intimate moment could put off even the most attentive lover. Why do you ask? I'd just like to know. <sighs> Heard anything about Letho? They say he's hiding in the ravines. He's not alone. I know. I fail to comprehend exactly why you have it in for him. He escaped, so what? You're no king, and as such, are hardly in danger. All of them, really. But this one mainly. I'm tired of having to explain that I'm not the Kingslayer. Hansel believed you. But he's still not sure, and I don't want him doing me any favors. Let's say you catch him. What then? I'll decide once I've heard him out, learned the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, or maybe I'll just cut off his head. I wonder what Sheila's doing in Henselt's camp. You're not alone, because she's wondering what you're doing at the King's side. How do you know? She asked me about you. Oh! What did she want to know? I have no idea. I realized right off she was sniffing, and told her she could smell my fingers if she wanted. But that'd be all she'd get. And she gave up? Mm-hmm. See how careful I am? Yeah, right. Why would Sheila ask my best friend about me? <laughs> Ooh. My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive, and I'll eventually find her. Triss? Yennefer? That's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm. True. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I'll find Triss as soon as I've dealt with the assassin. What about Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. Henselt's camp is abuzz with rumors about the events three years ago. When you burn a sorceress at the stake, rumors spread faster than the seed of a lascivious baron. I know you primarily value sorceresses for their firm busts, but I'm curious. What do you think of Sabrina Glevisig? Sorceresses complain about feeling underappreciated, persecuted even. But let me tell you, Geralt, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If they didn't meddle, they wouldn't be burned at the stake. They keep whining about the horrors that took place on Thanet Island, about the order of the world being destroyed. But let me ask you, who brought that about if not them and their scheming? Hmm. I'm from Stilton. There's a lot of different things going on here. And this place seems really big, too. Oh, I don't really have any interest in these people. At least not now. I don't got the money. Whoa, his name is Dragon. Did I see that right? Oh, yeah, Dragon, but not like Dragon. Hey! Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, Hansen? Play me. <laughs> I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. That's a shame. I'll have to come back later. Okay, I just got my hair cut. And, and well, I'm at the brothel well, now. <laughs> How can I? Wanna roll a few rounds of dice poker? Should we play? Yes. Please, let me win. Fast. Quickly. A pair? He has a pair as well. With any luck, we should beat him. Although his pair is higher than mine, so that's not good. Oh! Ooh! Wait. No, nothing. Ah! Don't worry. You know what they say. Unlucky at dice, lucky at love. What? <laughs> 
He's trying to make me feel better. Well, but I don't feel better at all. Wanna one pair two pairs i have two pairs he has one he has two pairs as well but my pairs are higher so if nothing goes wrong i should win this one theoretically okay oh thank goodness you've cleaned me out anyone else i can fleece around here Lesota, the quartermaster's helper he plays dice. Okay. Yeah, we've met him. We've met him. Well, how... I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. Seriously? How much? Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? I didn't pay yet. <laughs> Anything interesting going on in the camp? Soldiers are scared shitless what with this battle approaching. They'd rather drink themselves silly than let us honest whores make some coin. Is that interesting? I doubt it. Not raring to fight, are they? They might have been eager at first, but the longer we sit here, the less lively they become. Fighting's like ploughing. Lust for one, and you lust for the other. And the longer they're here, the further they're away from home. Well, well. You don't want to... We're... So... Ask away, then. We don't what actually have like... to pay, right? I wouldn't mind knowing what you think of Henselt. I'm a madam. What can I know about the king? I seem to remember that madams and innkeepers know everything. He used to come here to plough, to develop a camaraderie with the fighting men like. But that was just a phase. Most likely only ploughs sweet, smelling ladies now. Ooh. Well... Okay. Uh, We're so ask, what would you like to Heard of the Virgin of Edern? Hasn't everyone. Any thoughts? Oh yes. A maturing woman like that never been ploughed. Her head's bound to be muddled. We'll have peace when she drops her sword to grab a nice healthy prick instead. I don't think I've heard of the Virgin of Edern, right? Everyone but me has heard about it? Uh, if we're near the brothel now, we should be finding- are we close to Leva? The brothel medic? Oh my god, these rooms! Completely red! No privacy. Oh, right here! No? No, they all have red hair! Oh, it's this one! Are you Leva? If you've got a growth of some sort and you're here for the salve, get in line. Nothing of the sort this time. You were here during Hensel's previous expedition. What of it? I have some questions. Be quick. Half of Henset's nobility's waiting for this salve. They've all started pissing blood out of longing for the spouses they left at home. Oh my goodness. Ooh, yes. Did many soldiers survive the battle three years ago? But a handful. The rest were just vaporized. <sighs> those who could walk dragged those who couldn't. All the survivors were horribly burned. I'm interested in that tower. It's the remnant of a man sacked long ago. They call it the Tower of Debauchery, since Madame Carol made camp at its foot. <laughs> the ravines around the camp, they don't look like they were shaped by nature. They're proof of the great power sorceresses can summon. Sabrina's fireballs scarred the ground for many miles around the battlefield. Three years back, it was the home of Malgut, the healer and his family. While he helped us tend the wounded, Someone murdered his children. Malgut couldn't come to terms with the tragedy and threw himself into the river. The children were buried behind the house. Their graves should still be there. Graves? Okay. I'll let you get back to treating all those brave fighting men. So that was for the little sister quest, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Go to the hut on the cliff or to the cemetery. Geralt was interested about the house on the cliff and asked Leva. She says that it was the house of someone named Malgit. But someone murdered his kids. Ooh, specters. Angry specter who won't leave this realm because 
he hasn't exacted his revenge yet. Something like Selena in Chapter 4 in The Witcher 1. Maybe, maybe. Ah, oh, we're starting to get like 20 million quests again. Oh, this one's actually a main one. That's interesting. I want to find Odrin quickly though, because I don't want to hear those people. But this one we know how to do right away. Hmm. I'll have that. Oh, we should go do this one first with Lasota. These people. Uh, these are all just like they're just. Uh... Deadly yourself, pauper. Okay, thanks. Gotta pay for looking too. Hey. There's so many redheads here. No. Thank you though. Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make camp with the Black Ones. That's politics. What's it to us? We should have our say, take an interest in things. Or it will turn out like the mill in Stiltum. <laughs> the one the smith bread. from Jailmouth took over when he married the miller's widow. There's fat chance of Henselt and Shillard inviting us to their meeting. Well, we should at least object somehow. A spit at the sight of the black ones. Yeah, Turn we've heard this. Away. Is on their tents? Out of curiosity, is my pyromaniac thing leveling up, or am I just getting the same skill again and again? No, I'm only level one. Hey, that's actually really good. Critical effect chance incineration plus 20. <laughs> All right. Just need to watch that we don't make a mistake. Oh, now, pretty please. please. Greetings, Haddad. Nobody wants us out to me here. Not really. A super soldier serum or what? Greetings. Oh, I bought the Rod Fiend book, but I didn't read it yet, did I? The legendary accursed. The Draug is a mythical. The Draug? Wait, did I buy the wrong one? Mythical creature, issuing straight from ancient legends of heroes and their epic deeds. When a hero descends into a fiery hell to rescue his beloved, or when he seeks to avenge his father's death, the Draug is often his opponent. Why are poets so keen to cast this monster as the archenemy? Well, as a wraith, the Draug fits well into any dark story of a curse or vengeance from the world beyond. Described variously, always as terrifying, its true appearance remains unknown. It is a powerful creature, a prince of the damned, thus making an ideal villain. Did I accidentally buy the wrong book? Because that doesn't sound like it's for Rot Fiends. Oh, we bought both? We bought a lot, actually. Have we not read this one before? King Foltest's daughter, cursed in her mother's womb, entered the world a stillborn beast, interred. She continued to grow until she rose from the grave as a horrifying striga. The jag-toothed princess long terrorized Vizima until Geralt freed her of the dark spell. Years later, Ada once more succumbed to the curse and the Witcher again faced the Striga. This time, however, politics were at play. The Order of the Flaming Rose brought on the reversion in a bid to breed chaos in Vizima and overthrow King Foltest. How dare the Order of the Flaming Rose get mad at me when you're the people trying to overthrow the king? The horrors of war, rot fiends. Given that they are necrophages, rot fiends feed on carrion and human corpses, but this does not mean they do not attack the living. They appear on battlefields, near cities afflicted by plague, or around villages touched by famine. See a rot fiend and you can be sure there are many more in the area. They appear of a sudden, and disappear even more quickly if threatened, so exterminating them is difficult. Trapping rot fiends makes little or no sense. Instead, they are best dealt with by cutting off their food supply, that is, burning all corpses in the area. Corpses must be incinerated rather than buried, for rot fiends are avid and skillful diggers. Without sustenance, the beasts will leave in search of new feeding grounds. Not sure how much we actually learned here besides burn all the corpses. Okay, so after we read those... There we go. Oh! Oh, we're actually gonna burn the corpses! That's actually really cool. But I want to see though. So if we go to here, knowledge. Oh, we actually don't have new knowledge about Rothanes. But we have new knowledge about Draugs. Archwraith. No, now that we know we can read this during battle, I will read it when we come across it, okay? Ooh. Um. Pu -pu 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 thinking on what to do first. Let's go back inside. Finish up the poker. 
We can fight Lasota. <laughs> fight. I mean, you know. You know what I mean. We can defeat Lasota. Get that quest out of the way. Fucking stone. What are you looking for? There seems to be a lot around here though. Even just looking at the map. Yeah, we were here, but there's also this little camp here. And then somewhere over here, there's an inn? How far can we go? Don't really know. The soda, coming for you. Oh, but now that we're back here... Oh god, they're gonna look for Odrin. <laughs> I'm not even here yet. Please. The soda? So? I'd like to play dice. Wanna play right now? Yes. Come on! Oh! Three of a kind! I got it! I won! Thank you! Thank you for the orans! I win, right? Yes! Yes! You won! Do you want coin or something special? This could be a trap. It, he's gonna say something special, but it's gonna end up being something really stupid, like... I don't know. Alcohol or something. <laughs> I'm not hurting for money right now though, so okay. I'll- I'll play along. I'd prefer something besides gold. I see you've got quite a bit of armor. If that's your wish, I can offer you a number of armor designs, specifically for studded, tempered, or supple leather armor. I don't know which one's the best. Tempered armor? Studded armor? We can make Karen armor too. Um, I think I might take gold after all because of these three. First of all, I don't know which one's the best one. And second of all, even if we do get the best one, I don't know if it's better than what I'm wearing right now. And third of all, we have the Karen armor diagram too. Haven't checked if it's better than what I have right now, but um... Gold! We can use that to invest towards other things. But here it's more like a chance. If you showed me the stats, that would be much better, but okay, I'll just take gold. I think I'll stick to coin. How much? How much did you give me? Didn't see. That is done. That is done. Great. So now, Rod Fiend contract. Where do we see corpses around the camp? Well, not here. Because I didn't see any corpses while we were... around here. Maybe we'll try something else before we see that? The Witcher promised to look for... or keep an eye out for missing grunts. Little sisters! Oh, is that a different cliff? I thought it was the one over here, but seems like maybe it's not. Mm, we can look anyway? 